Welcome to Die Headlines. I'm Louisa Liu. Thank you for joining us. The Tsuji Disaster Relief Team continues its relief efforts at the Tuantai Township in Myanmar. Two free clinics have been set up, one in the township and the other one in Piatatai, where a relief was also carried out. Close to 1,000 local residents from surrounding villages received rice, a heartwarming token from the distant land. Taking down patients' details, volunteers are working with doctors to serve cyclone victims at a free clinic set up in a nursing home in the Twente Township. Patients crowd the building, eagerly awaiting their turn. Dalton's son, a mother of seven, has brought her children to be treated. Grateful for volunteers' support, she sees her caregivers as her own children. In return of the love and appreciation, volunteers give Grandma Ting's son a string of Tsuji prayer beads. With identical prayer beads, they are now bonded by both love and a common charm. The gift and the good wishes from Master Zhen Yan have touched Grandma Tin Sun's heart. You have come to Myanmar from overseas and treated everyone like equals. Your attitude is truly heartwarming. At a temple in Pia Tate, a free clinic has also been set up. Outside, patients wait in a quiet and orderly fashion. Local volunteers are helping the seniors filling out forms. Elsewhere in the clinic, volunteers are packaging drugs for patients. Huddling around a patient, a doctor and a local assistant work together to remove the source of pain, which is sand grains that have gotten into the patient's eye. I'm very grateful for a local woman has volunteered to be my interpreter. She did really well calming the patient, telling him to look upward and ignore everything else, and just let the doctor handle it. Moments later, the patient leaves with peace of mind. A third aid relief site has been set up at a location on the way to the Twente Township. Local residents are digging holes to erect Tsuji flags. A sign language song bonds everyone together in harmony. Smiles blossom everywhere, a sign that the language barrier has been dissolved. 244 families from seven nearby villages have come forth to collect rice. Signing the gesture of thanks, local residents are deeply grateful for the food. Carting the sacks off with family and neighbors, cyclone survivors go home with bright smiles on their faces.